It's so nice here. That guy's awesome. We're built for off-roading. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people in here. Hey guys, it's Wayne from Sling Pilot Academy. Really excited to share this next video with you. It's part two of our trip to Sun and Fun. If you haven't watched part one, watch it now. Uh, we're gonna fly from a beautiful little air park that our friend Cecil lives on, grass field, to Sun and Fun. We've got some fantastic footage from Sun and Fun about the funniest interaction we've ever had with ATC. Enjoy the video. Okay, where's Cecil's hangar? Ah, uh, it's back the other way. So what do I do, taxi on the... Taxi down to the gas pump. I'll meet you there in my golf cart. Roger that. Oh, that was pretty fun. This is a really cool airport. Oh, f yeah. Thank you. See me flying with no hands right now? <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, we just landed at Sky Park. It was a beautiful flight in, an incredible airport, and just amazing grass runway. And Matthew crushed it. Uh, so now Cecil and I are gonna head over to his place in the golf cart, and Matthew's gonna follow us. After we tied the plane down at Cecil's, we got to do some fun stuff, like taking a tour on his golf cart, seeing a steerman use the grass strip for some traffic work, and I even got to use his sit-on mower to mow his lawn all before seeing a beautiful sunset and having a wonderful dinner. Hey guys, it's Wayne from Sling Pilot Academy. It's a beautiful morning here in Florida. Uh, we stayed with Cecil, right behind me here. Uh, Cecil and Helen, uh, they are amazing. We had a fantastic time. He's building a Sling TSI right here. Uh, so I can't wait to see his uh, Sling TSI built. Uh, he also has this beautiful RV8 that he built and then his Cherokee as well. And just has an amazing setup here. Uh, we're parked right outside uh, with a TSI. Landed on this beautiful grass strip last night. Matthew did an amazing job from the right seat. So heading off to Lakeland right now, we're gonna try and head along the coast with a wing camera and see if we can get some nice views for you guys. Clear prop. Oh, oh. Uh, Sky Park traffic uh, taxiing from Cecil's place to runway nine. Sky Park. Sky Park traffic, blue and white sling, five whiskey tango is taking runway nine for run up and take off. Sky Park. We're gonna do it straight out? Yeah. Yeah, because we're headed, you know where we're headed, right? Down here. Okay. Ready? Turn it forward a tiny smidge. I got it. Thanks Cecil and Helen and Sky Park for a fantastic stay. You've been in the ground yeah. for a bit. Yeah. Shut up, Wayne. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Skypark traffic, blue white slang, five whiskey tangos leaving the area. Thanks again, Skypark traffic. Uh, should we get on with approach? Eglin approach, experimental sling, one tree, five whiskey tango is 1,300 and climbing, just departed Skypark and would like the VFR corridor if possible. Five whiskey tango, squawk four, six, five, five. Four, six, five, five, five whiskey tango. Number five, Whiskey Tango, radar contact, three miles east of the Crestview Vortex, uh, Crest altimeter 3005. Radar checks in 3005 on the altimeter, five, Whiskey Tango. What a great stay. It's so nice here. Of course, Cecil and Helen are amazing. Cecil told us an interesting little story last night that he appeared in a movie back in the 80s, uh, back when he was flying F4s. You if you rock two. your wings to the left, we'll get this airport under us. Just rock them hard. There you go. <laughs> I was keeping the same intentions after the corridor. Uh, we'd like to go down the coast southeast. We're heading to Lakeland by Whiskey Tango. Oh yeah, this night rush. By Whiskey Tango, Roger, South Quarter Flutter Poo via Field 2 and uh, White Point. Via Field 2 and White Point is approved by Whiskey Tango. By Whiskey Tango, you can resume my navigation if you'd like. Resume my nap, thanks, by Whiskey Tango. Let's try and get this bridge here. Three, two, nine. Oh, it's quite some bridge, man. Well, look, there's a cool building with an American flag on the roof. Oh wow, that's pretty God cool. God bless America. Hopefully I got that. Thanks to the left. Wow, these look like some busy beaches. Five Whiskey Tango, contact Kendall Post 120.82. 
Uh, 120.82, thanks for your help, by Whiskey Tango. Approach, Experimental Sling, 135 Whiskey Tango, joining 3000. Experimental 5 Whiskey Tango, tell approach, the altimeter is 3003 at Panama City. 3003, thanks, by Whiskey Tango. Golf courses, everywhere. Beautiful white sand beaches, jetties and marinas. What a magic spot. And I'm just saying, airports everywhere inland. Everywhere. Experimental 5 Whiskey Tango, say altitude, climbing to? Uh, climbing to 5,500, 5 Whiskey Tango. Wow, look at these amazing, just huge inlets everywhere. Get a boat, this would be a uh, magic spot. Wow, it's like golf courses and beachfront property, jetties, waterways, you know? It's just phenomenal. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Just airstrips galore. Look at that, is that beautiful or what? Uh, it's just such nice coastline, like there's a big inlet here and this video I just won't do it justice at all. It's pretty interesting, doesn't it? It's all marshy. Like a protected wetlands area for nature or whatever, you know? Definitely Anything? An airport gonna be. Good enough? Yep. Damn it, I think I had to pee before we get there. Approach experimental sling 135 Whiskey Tango, joining 5500. November 135 with Kitanga Telasi approach. Good morning, Telasi. Altimeter 3003. 3003, thanks, Bob. It's Kitanga. And we're not flying with John the first time we came on our non stop. This was our original plan to come along this coast here. But for anyone who missed it, it didn't work out. <laughs> 3004, eight point of them. Hey, Cecil. <laughs> Good morning again. <laughs> I know I'm going on about it, but. Wouldn't that be so amazing to have a place just out in the middle of nowhere, right on the water? Jacksonville Center, Experimental Sling 135 Whiskey Tango is 5,500. Experimental 135 Whiskey Tango is Jacksonville Center, Rouse Tide, Chapter 3003. 3003, 3, 5 Whiskey Tango. I've gotten so, so much better at understanding the controllers of Mumble. <laughs> at the beginning, I would be like, oh, oh, I don't know what he said. And I have to speak quickly sometimes, you know. Yeah. That's why it's good to have a really good quality Bose headset. I need to pee. Do I just do it? What, ones, what other ones have we got to try in here? We haven't tried the uh, Mini WC Gmu. Let's have a look at that. It does look very nicely sealed. So I feel like I trust it. Aircraft's going to change direction a little bit. I'm telling myself so I don't get alarmed while I'm <laughs> taking care of business. 5.8, aloha. <laughs> Aloha, was it Hawaiian Airlines? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> okay, seems like good volume for me. I'll do that knot in the baggie. <laughs> <laughs> and my feeling on that one is if we laid that down, that would leak. So at this speed we've got about an hour. 135 knots true. Ground speed 140, but we're just taking it easy. Yeah, only burning 6.5 gallons an hour. Five and a half thousand feet. Is your belt back on this time? Yep. <laughs> I forgot last time I got out the aircraft at Cecil's and I was unbuttoned and unzipped and unbelted. Hopefully you didn't take it the wrong way. <laughs> Grass strip over there by the looks of it. Yep. I'm amazed there's runways everywhere. Yeah, even more than anywhere on the west coast. Oh, way more. November 135, Whiskey Tango Jacks. Uh, 135 is the tank up. I know that you're going down towards uh, Lakeland. I know you left early for sun and fun, but uh, Jack's approach, just give us the word that they're not accepting anybody that is VFR. You can continue with flight following and stay out of their airspace via Victor 35, going cross city Victor 35 St. Pete. But once you get to cross city, if you're gonna continue direct to Lakeland, I'm gonna have to terminate you and send you on your way, buddy. Okay, we're just having a look right now to, uh, to see if we can find Victor 35, and what are we avoiding? Jacksonville approaches airspace. They said they're too busy to accommodate anybody who is on a VFR flight plan. Okay. At the end of the day, I still love you. Oh, thanks, we love you too. Hey, Wayne, land winter haven, and we'll sort it out. Cecil said land winter haven. One second, buddy. All right, number five, we're staying, uh, what did you think? We just got some advice from a friend, Cecil, that uh, said land Winterhaven and we'll sort it out. 
Well, it's not a problem going to Lakeland. It's just the issue that I'm going to terminate you and you're just going to be on your own and flying from Cross City to Lakeland uh, talking to nobody because Jack's approach is not going to... They refuse to talk to you guys because they are too busy, they say. <laughs> okay, no worries. Yeah, we'll, we'll just terminate and uh, we'll be fine. I'm super sorry about this, man. Oh, not a problem at all. You've been amazing. Thanks. November 7, 9 or 8, 4 November. I'm sure you've been listening. Same thing goes for you going to Winter Haven. So whenever I get you over towards Cross City, I'm going to have to terminate you and put you on a 1200 code and send you on your way. 8 for November, copy. Won't be the first time this has happened. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. Maybe I'll transfer down there one day and I'll accommodate you. Roger, thanks. <laughs> yeah, someone's got to line those guys out down there. They they do get busy, but I figure if you were already on the flight plan, why can't you just stay? But I I don't know. I don't know enough about that. <laughs> I've been doing this for almost 16 years, so I still don't understand it. <laughs> you just a newbie? <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> oh, did you put on the GPS tracker? Huh? Yeah. Oh, good thinking. <laughs> and do we have to um, be he, safe? He said when we get to Cross City, he's going to cut us off. Okay. Going 35 with Tango, our time has come. Sorry. Squawk 1200 for exchange pre register services terminated. Y'all have a wonderful day. Uh, and just for a heads up, monitor the frequency of 118.6. If there happens to be any sort of traffic call involving yourself, just keep aware of your uh, surroundings there, but 18.6 is the frequency you can monitor for Jack's approach. Maybe even bug him for flight following. <laughs> uh, so th thanks very much for your hospitality and the heads up on 18.6, and uh, have a great day, Bob Whiskey Tango. Number five, Whiskey Tango, not a problem, anytime. Aloha. Aloha, five Whiskey Tango. <laughs> that guy's awesome. On the descend, a little bumpy. Yeah. So we could get off the flight following thingy now and start monitoring the Lakeland frequency. Yep. And when you make your call in, what do they say? Uh, for VF, is there a special call for VFR or? We don't make a call. They oh, we tell don't. us what to do. Like oh, Oshkosh. okay. Oh, it's like Oshkosh. Okay. See if we can hear ADIS. Okay, test on front of Iowa ADIS, frequency 128.575. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Test out. Uh, for triple seven. So this is the frequency uh, for us all the way through. And we no, so we go one two four five and one three five two three. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just double checked. There's probably an actual ATIS frequency at the airport. That's not that one. That's a good idea. Like the airport information, Yankee one five five zero observation. We just put a call and say we're inbound via uh, yeah. uh, with Yankee. So do we just use two eight left? Yep, we could do that. Lakeland Tower, Criminal Sling 135, Whiskey Tango is approaching Parker Lake from the north. Uh, will we be landing 28 left? Yes, we're using runway 28 left, which is the large runway. It's normally runway 28. Roger, thank you. Five Whiskey Tango. Good thing we checked that. Yeah. Terminal 135, Whiskey Tango, if you want to follow I-4 from there southwestbound, and then once you're north of the airport, fly southbound from midfield, right down on entry runway 28 left. We'll follow the I-4 and then approach midfield for 28 left, downwind, 5 Whiskey Tango. Yep, that's the I-4. We're on the I-4. Perfect. Okay, cool. Yep, so essentially, we're just going to come in and intercept that line I made that's also the I-4. Okay. So see how we're oh, going to just think. follow that in. Well, looked over that note for nothing. <laughs> Good to be prepared. Yeah, it was better for sure. To get a picture of the big white knob. <laughs> Got it. It's the white knob, guys. Oh, do you want to take it? Sure, I'll take it. Tower, down to Terminal 5 Whiskey Tango, as you join the right downwind, extend downwind. We'll extend our downwind as we join 5 Whiskey Tango. Terminal 5 Whiskey Tango, traffic to follow, head into your right, one mile diamond. Got the traffic inside, 5 Whiskey Tango. Terminal 5 Whiskey Tango, follow the diamond, keep it tight, runway 28 left, clear to land number two. You're turning base inside of a Seminole, seven mile funnel. Turning base inside of a Seminole, seven mile final, and we'll keep an eye on that traffic. Keep it tight, five whiskey tango. I just wanted to keep some speed because I didn't want to get the guy behind yeah, good idea. too close. Uh, Terminal five whiskey tango, you're still clear to land runway two eight left. There's enough room on the runway. Clear to land two eight left, five whiskey tango. All right, runway two eight clear to land what's up. Terminal five whiskey tango, safe parking. <laughs> 
Paradise Parking, 5 Whiskey Tango. Terminal 5 Whiskey Tango. Turn left next taxiway, Papa 2. Contact Sun and Fun Advisory, 126.075 today. Left on Papa 2 and 126.075, 5 Whiskey Tango. Uh, Lakeland Ground, Experimental Sling 135, Whiskey Tango, Papa 2 for Paradise. Paradise City, I need you to uh, Papa 2 to uh, Fox Rock to Delta. Take a left turn, turn westbound on Delta, and I'll pick you after that. Okay, Papa 2, Fox Rock Delta, 5 Whiskey Tango. There's like nobody here. Whiskey Tango, make that left turn on Delta and proceed uh, eastbound. Left turn on Delta, proceed eastbound, 5 Whiskey Tango. Whiskey Tango, I need you to make a right turn at Bravo also. Right turn at Bravo, 5 Whiskey Tango. I'm passing already. Oh, I'm at the Bravo up there. Okay, oh cool. Welcome to Lakeland. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey Tango, you're going to make a left turn at Bravo 1 and then uh, proceed eastbound. Left turn at Bravo 1, then proceed eastbound, 5 Whiskey Tango. Whiskey Tango, cross runway 5. Cross runway 5, 5 Whiskey Tango. Whiskey Tango, after crossing runway 5, you're going to be on Echo to Echo 1, a right turn on Echo 1 down to uh, to the end and then up to the grass runway. Okay, we'll cross 5, go to Echo, then Echo 1, all the way to the grass runway 5, Whiskey Tango. All right, at Echo 1. Yep, that's right here. Okay, now okay. cross my grass runway's over here. Okay guys, so we made it in, we're just trying to find our parking spot. Hi, Whiskey Tango, when you uh, leave the pavement, it'll probably be pretty wet, so be careful down there. Roger, thanks for the heads up, Hi, Whiskey Tango. We're built for off-roading. Bravo. Frequency. Yeah, Paradise City yeah. arrivals. We have to change frequency, yeah. One, two, three, eight, two, five. Hold short of grass for escort. Yep. Paradise City arrivals, uh, one, three, five, Whiskey Tango is here at the, uh, holding short of the grass. Maybe they're not operating yet. Yeah, let me jump out. I'm going to see what's going on. Okay. Heading over to Paradise. We couldn't get anyone on the radio. We moved the plane off the taxiway to get it out of the way and waited to find out where to park it. The advantage of getting here early is we'll get a prime spot. Thank you, sir. Good thing we can turn on a dime. <laughs> Okay, shutting down. So we made it to Paradise Field. Uh, we're the first aircraft here. <laughs> so we've got to get uh, we've got to get it tied down. Luckily the field is nice and damp. Maybe someone younger and stronger should do this. <laughs> now we've got someone younger and stronger doing it. <laughs> so Enterprise is close here at 12 as well. Rental car problems from day one. Just so you know, when the show starts. Yeah, but the, I, the, I already got called. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> as long as you know. Were you stopping him about that thing? Yeah. That's yeah. what I was coming to you for. I'm like, I know they get they're very upset about but, that. But, but he knew. About, he knew. He had been told yeah, already. If I come in, I'll be using the guy to get my rental car. I mean, that would be in the way. Gotcha. Oh, cool. Okay, thank you. Thank you. The one wheel's not a good idea around here. <laughs> Security was swarming from everywhere. Here's some footage of a storm that happened during Sun and Fun on day two, as well as some air show highlights. Let me see what that looks like. <laughs> we're, right, we're only on the edge. people in here. <laughs> Thank you.
Leave us a comment, let us know what your favorite part of the video was, and as always, like and subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate your help.